So this video is to show my painting one students how to prepare their canvas for their paintings. Uh, so you need a small canvas. Uh, on the syllabus, I say that you need a, a canvas that is uh, 9 by 12, you know, a size uh, that is close to that. You know, something like this. This is uh, one that I stretched myself. It's a... Uh, but I'm not going to use this for this demo. I'm going to use a scrap of, of linen uh, for this demo and also for the for the first uh, still life that we're going to be using. So you need your canvas. <clears throat> you need also uh, an earth color such as I recommend raw umber. This is what I have here. This is a, a very quick drying uh, paint. You need a couple of uh, palette knives and you need a stiff a stiff brush like this one. <clears throat> it's a it's a bristle brush. It's uh, and there I mean there's uh, many different types of brushes, but you want to get used to the idea of two basic uh, brushes, you know stiff hair like this and then also a uh, natural hair that is soft this is also natural hair but this is this these get more expensive because they are they're sable you know they're more after you after you lay down the first layers of paint with your with your stiffer uh, harder brush then you move on to these types of brushes but for this for preparing your surface which is what we're going to do today. You need a stiff brush. And then to make the surface nice nice and even, you might want to get yourself a, a little fan brush, you know, like this or something like this as well. Uh, so this this stage that I'm going to show you how to do is uh, it's called the uh, it's called the imprimatura. Imprimatura means the first layer of paint. And it's it's more like a like a stain. Uh, so I'll show you how how that how you're gonna prepare that and how you're going to apply it. And you'll see that it has the the look of a of a stain, like when you stain wood. And this is this is meant so that we can uh, work uh, the first stage of the painting. Uh, this is for my painting one students and it's a good transition from uh, drawing into painting so even though we're using paint it's still pretty much the the uh, uh drawing process that we're going to be doing so you know put out some paint this is uh like i said raw umber you can use burnt number, maybe in burnt sienna, but I feel those colors get very warm. Burnt sienna is very orange. Burnt number also gets more red. I like raw umber because it's more neutral. Uh, so we've got our paint, and you need also you need paint thinner. That's what I have here in this container. Uh, it's a Make sure that you get your supplies, you know, paint thinner, all your supplies for an art class, make sure you get those at an art supply store. Do not buy paint thinner from a hardware store because uh, those have different purposes uh, and they have very strong smell. So you wanna use, especially in this situation, how we're teaching the class online, you're at home. And so you don't have a, I don't, some of you might have access to a space where you can you can work and it's well ventilated. Uh, but if you don't, you definitely do not want to use those strong solvents that you buy at a hardware store. You know, they are cheaper, but they will destroy your brushes, and they're not meant for 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 hard work. You know, if they're meant for you know cleaning, you know, tools. Uh, uh, wiping away you know harsh uh, chemicals so it's like use uh, buy all the stuff at the art supply store uh, 
paint thinner and uh, the linseed oil you want to get those from an art store this, this is the what i would recommend that you get but of course this is this is very hard to 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 find local you have to order it online and it does this is the best solvent that you can use for oil painting uh, but you can just get the the mona lisa brand that they sell uh, locally uh, so that's why what, what i have here i have a paint thinner and uh, i'm going to scoop out some of the some of the paint thinner and and put it into into my paint you see what i'm, I'm you can scoop it out with a brush i'm gonna scoop it up here so we're gonna make the paint runny uh, and you'll see that when you start mixing this it thins out the paint makes the paint runny It might need a little bit more paint thinner. See, and this is why you need two two palette knives and make sure that you get them in this shape. This is a, this is a very good shape to use. Like palette knives come in many different shapes, but this these are my my favorite shapes. Uh, see, this might be too thick still. So the consistency that we're looking for. And this, uh, this, what I'm going to say is a consistency that you want to use for many other mixtures as you move on in your in painting class. The consistency you're looking for is the consistency of drinkable yogurt. You want it to be runny, but not too watery. I think this, this much will work. And so I have a small canvas here. Like I said, in this case, I've got a, a scrap piece of, a, of linen. And we're gonna lay down the stain for the imprimatura. Now, when you prepare your canvas uh, with, with this, when you have it ready at this stage, you, uh, you don't wanna leave it, you don't wanna let it dry. You want to get to work on this, and that, that's what I'll do in the next video. I'll get to work on this. Uh, this will dry w on you within a, within a, within a few hours, uh, and like by the, by tomorrow, this this stage will be dry. Uh, so this this you want to do. You want to prepare it the same day that you're going to work on this. You don't want to let this dry. So, I mean, th there's several ways you can do this. You can uh, put it on there with a palette knife and and spread it out. You can do this. And then I'll go back in with a brush and even it out. So there. See, with the, with the palette knife, it's very easy to spread out the paint. And you see, I, I spread it out. And now I'm gonna go in here with the brush. I mean, the brush has some paint thinner that will help spread this out. Again, use a stiff brush. If you're doing it with, with a soft brush, you will see how difficult it is to, to spread out paint on a, uh, on a canvas when there is when there's nothing underneath this, you know, when it's, when it's just the, the white gesso of, of the linen or of the canvas. So I, I went in here and I marked the boundaries with the, with a pen. Uh, of 
course, I might recommend you do this on uh, on a stretched canvas, like I showed at the beginning of the of the video. Uh, I'm using this because I have a lot of. I, mean, I, I do large paintings, and I end up with a lot of scraps like this. So I want to. And linen gets pricey, so I want to want to use this. I don't want to let it go to waste. And I think for an assignment like this, to demonstrate to you guys how you're gonna do this, um, I'm putting this scrap of linen to to good use. And see, this. This is a imprimatura stage, the first stage, the first layer of paint. I still want to, I want to, uh, I want to spread it out a little bit more evenly. See, uh, the video, the camera, I don't know how it's gonna turn out once I see this on on the computer. Uh, I'll make some uh, some commentary, but it, you might be seeing a lot of glare, and that's that's the one of the qualities of a uh, oil painting. Oil painting is shiny, especially when it's very wet like this. Uh, and so you get a glare, and sometimes it's hard to see. But see, this is how you want it to look. And I'll go over this with the with the fan brush. And it's transparent. I can see the underlying layer, the underlying uh, canvas, the white of the canvas. See on this. Over here, I think I have a little too much. A little too much paint, so I'm gonna scrape some of this off. So you can very easily scrape it off. I think I, it was looking a little too opaque. So I'm gonna scrape this off. See, I'm scraping off the... Again, it has to be a thin layer of paint. I'm gonna clean my brush, you know, with oil painting, you clean up with paint thinner. So then I, and I'll spread out the, the romber. I'll spread it out again. See, this is much better, much, a much thinner, layer of paint and again just use paint thinner do not use do not add any linseed oil at this stage because the linseed oil will make uh, will slow down the drying of this uh, of this paint and we want it to dry quickly so that we can start painting on it uh, within a, a few hours or or the next day. See something like this. Uh, I will. I'll get this big fan brush here and uh, see. This is what you want as as even as you can make it and I'll do this so there it looks like stained uh, leather you know something like that there you go now do not do not add this much if if your imprimatura is this thick and this dark it's going to be very difficult on you you don't want it to look like this 
you know you want it to look like it looks over here this is too much and this will happen to some of you you will put too much paint but you do not want this you know like and I, when when I do this in, in in the class some people have this much paint on their on their canvas and it, it becomes very difficult to work uh, it becomes very difficult to manage and to wipe off because into this into this uh, imprimatura we're going to we're going to work into that uh, not with color but by drawing with a brush with paint thinner and with raw umber but also by wiping so this is like a wiping uh, technique to create a drawing so I'm, I'm gonna remove all this excess here all this excess paint and I'll spread it out again see it has to be it has to be a thin layer of paint like and the way this this uh, I'll do a little bit here and then I'll make another video uh, where I'm doing this the still life but see this is very easy to wipe see how, see that and we can uh, wipe out and we can uh, we can draw into this you know we, we wipe out the whites and we can also add add more paint into this see so that's that's the imprimatura technique and and, uh, and I'll, I'll stop the video here and I will start the next video showing you how to go how, how to go about painting this how to, how to go about starting your first painting in painting one uh, so my name is Rigoberto Gonzalez. I am your painting instructor for summer session two. And I'm planning to use these videos for the fall semester as well. Uh, okay, so that is how you apply your imprimatura layer to your, to your canvas. And uh, I'll stop the video right there.